In this video, I'm going to teach you how to blitz in Madden 23, how to create your own blitzes, how to make your blitzes better with your user. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to get my entire blitz uh, blitzing ebook I released uh, at the beginning of the Madden season, teaching you how to blitz out of basically practically every formation in the game, uh, make sure you get that. You can get all of my ebooks by becoming a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks. We have complete defensive and offensive ebooks, as well as the, uh, what we're going to be talking about today which is a, a blitzing concept that you can apply uh, to any formation. We actually did that with our blitz, uh, our Madden 23 blitz ebook resource, which is basically, like I said, we just went through formation by formation and basically found pressure uh, for you guys. So if you want to get access to all that, that is down in the description. Uh, but wanted to break this down with you guys today, and that is how to blitz in Madden. So uh, to illustrate this, we're going to be, it's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to be utilizing the, um, it really doesn't matter what formation. Let me just grab, um, you know what, let's do this nickel 2-4. Okay, so nickel 2-4-5. So this was uh, one of the better defenses last year. And uh, it still is a really, really good defense. So uh, I'm just going to set some audibles here, uh, sub some guys in, and we're going to pick any play in the formation. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what play you pick. Uh, you can pick, pick whatever you want. So cover through cloud. Okay. So what we want to do real quick is kind of identify. Okay, here's the here's the how would you where can you blitz from? Like that's actually a practical thing. Well, in this example, we could blitz this defender, Dean, over here. And we could also blitz this guy against this specific formation. So we have two slot edge corners that we can blitz. We also have two linebackers in the middle of the field that we can blitz. So let's say we wanted to try to get pressure with Levante David. So we're going to blitz him. And we want to look at where he goes. So you see here he's going to go to the center. And we're just going to stand kind of right in here. And a lot of times you get pressure, as you see. Now, why do you want to stand where I stood? If you look at the bottom of the offensive lineman, you're going to notice something. You're going to notice that they have these little shadow bar type things that basically what this does is it communicates to you as the user who your, um, who, what offensive lineman is going to block you. So like if you were to rush in, this guard would block me as you see right there. So you see how I did a user rush and the guard blocked me. So that's kind of the idea. So you've got to figure out the whole method of the main method of blitzing is how can I get my user to distract certain linemen for a split second so that the blitz can come in and then I can lurk over the middle of the field. So in this example, like we, like we showed you, we're standing here. You see that we don't have the center. Um, we just have these guards, right? So if I stand about right here, this center should get the defensive tackle on the left and this guard should get the defensive tackle on the right and then the linebacker should be able to loop through and unfortunately it didn't work okay so then you got to kind of tinker with this a little bit and say okay how can i how can i make this how can i make this better right so maybe an example would be that we stand a little bit more over here uh, also, I really like to hold left trigger this year. I think it really messes with the lineman. And there you see the pressure comes in a lot better, a lot more consistent. Now, what we want to also do is say, okay, how can we mess with different pass protections that the opponent might use? So one, for example, is a blocked running back. How can we mess with a blocked running back? Well, when you blitz a linebacker this year, a lot of times what happens is the running back actually really struggles to pick up blocks or uh, linebackers so you know how can we you know maybe doing something like this you see that this blitz is still pretty good against a blitz or a block tight end there it almost came in through the middle against max protect so these kind of blitzes right here really simple um but are really effective this year so you see here again that time it picked up a little bit better uh, obviously they're blocking six we're only sending five so now another component or another style of blitzing is slot cornerback blitzing. So again, you can also kind of tinker a little bit. So like, let's say I want to send pressure off of the right side. So I'm going to blitz that, that, that nickel back. Um, from here, what I need to do is I need to get the center to go to the right side. So you see here, if I crash out, maybe I stand about right here, the center will go with me, and then you see how the slot corner is gonna have a nice angle to be able to come in at the quarterback, right? So you can do this, you can apply the same basic principle to this side now. So let's say we wanna blitz off the left, maybe we wanted to do, do a coverage that looks kinda of like this. 
you know, we want to blitz off this off this side. So we want to stay and kind of make sure that we're triggering the right guard. So you see here, I'm triggering the left guard. If I stand here, it's not as good. It did still come in, but it's not going to be as effective because the center is still in the middle of the field, has a chance to slide over and pick that guy up. So what I want to try to do is stand just to the right of that. You see now I'm triggering this right guard, and you see now um, the blitz comes in a little bit, little bit easier, okay? So that's kind of the idea. Um, now, the other thing that you want to check, like I said, is pass protection. So, like, if they're blocking a running back, sometimes things like manning up the defensive end can trigger the running back to, like, kind of freeze, if you will. In this example, he's still able to make the block, and great, great job by him, right? Oh, so another thing that you can do if you're trying to get pressure against a blocked running back is you can blitz the blitz an extra guy. So like in this example, we're going to blitz this corner. So now we're going to blitz the corner off the right side. And as you can see, we're able to create double edge. Pre or, uh, we're able to continue to still get a guy free at the quarterback just by doing this alone. Another thing you can mess around with when blitzing and creating your blitzes is moving this guy down over the A-gap a little bit more. And what you'll see when you do stuff like this is you're going to get the defensive end to come in free. Last thing that I want to kind of hit on uh, in terms of just kind of teaching you how to blitz is understanding your user. So sometimes it can be more helpful to use her on the running back side. Sometimes it can be more helpful to use her on the tight end side. It kind of depends, honestly, on the formation. So you'll see right here, I'm going to try to go with that same blitz. And the running back actually does a pretty good job, um, you know, of picking up the, the linebacker on the same side as the running back. Okay, so now what we're going to try to show you here is everything's going to be the same, except now we're going to try to use this guy, and we're going to try to kind of like hover uh, and try to really push the running back to block us. So you see there, we got him to freeze for just a second, and even though the pressure didn't come in completely free, it's obvious that they're going to feel that pressure. Now another thing that you can do is experiment with bringing a you know kind of a double a gap style so like we're going to send both of these guys and we're going to use this safety this is kind of the overstorm brave style defense and what you should see here is we're going to get double edge pressure at the quarterback so that's another thing that you can do another layer another piece uh of the puzzle you know this nickel two four really a, a pretty solid defense this year um, there's a lot of different ways to run it again i want to stress in this video there's there's not just one style of blitzing. There's different styles of blitzing every year in Madden. In this year's game, putting this guy right here or so is really effective because of how fast the defensive end is going to come off the edge. So there's kind of that mix of like, do you want a fast blitz? Do you want a slow blitz? Let me give you an example of a slow blitz. Let's uh, We're going to just zone out one of these guys and contain. And a lot of times what can happen is this linebacker can loop around the edge. Doesn't always work, uh, but there you see, pretty decent, right? Pretty decent loop blitz. This is an example of like kind of the three-three normal, uh, where you're you're you know basically loop blitzing off of both edges here. So you don't know, do something like this, you know, in which you you know it doesn't always come in by any means, but sometimes he'll come around that edge and uh, be able to craft pressure. So that's another style of blitzing. Let me give you one last little piece on this. And that is where you can go into plays like um, sometimes there's plays that have certain blitz angles that other plays don't have. For example, uh, Buck Slant 3 would be one of those plays. So what you'll see with this is if I were to contain, you see how the linebacker, because of the stunts, is going to be a contain. So what we can then do is maybe you know just zone out or man up coverage that linebacker and see how this little swap contain blitz uh, can work and as you see there we're able to get pressure but you can apply this all through every formation in the game and that's how you find the best blitzes it doesn't only matter where you stand although it does sometimes it does matter the blitz angles sometimes it does matter like right here you see if I'm trying to get this to loop around the edge maybe I want to try to suck this guard into an animation and now you see I've got my my linebacker going out around the tackle so really just kind of basic but that's how to blitz in Madden and how to create your own blitzes and hopefully you've learned something in this video again if you want to join the patreon we've kind of taken the work out of it for you uh, by kind of 
giving you the final product of ebooks uh, that are able to kind of cut the crap and get right to the point uh, as far as like you know how to blitz or how to run this defense, how to run this offense. We've got 10 offensive and defensive ebooks, and then also, like I said in the intro, we have a blitzing resource ebook where we literally show you how to blitz out of every formation in the game. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon to get everything, it's only 10 bucks. And again, you'll get access to all the ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks.